Protesters gathered outside a courthouse in Cincinnati, Ohio this morning after a judge declared a mistrial in the case of Ray Tensing, the former University of Cincinnati police officer accused of killing Samuel DeBose. Now, though the judge gave the jury an additional two hours to deliberate this morning, they were unable to return a verdict on either the murder or voluntary manslaughter charges. By reason of your inability to reach a verdict, I declare this case a mistrial. After jurors deliberated for more than 25 hours, a Hamilton County judge declared a mistrial in the case of former Ohio police officer Ray Tensing, accused of murdering Sam DuBose during a traffic stop in 2015. It wouldn't be long before demonstrators took to the streets in protest. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Tensing was an officer for the University of Cincinnati when he fatally shot DuBose. The shooting was recorded on Tensing's body cam. <laughs> Tensing testified on Tuesday that he pulled DuBose over for a missing license tag. The officer said he reached into the car to grab the car keys from the ignition, but was dragged by the arm after DuBose tried to take off. And that's when Tensing reached up and shot him. Prosecutors argued Tensing wasn't being pulled by the car and didn't need to open fire. Following news of the mistrial, Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley said he hopes the prosecutor will retry the case. This case is not over. Um, I think we've learned throughout this process how deeply Prosecutor Dieters feels about the case and about what is right and what is wrong. So I expect that he will look to continue to find a way to bring justice to this case. DuBose's family received a nearly $5 million settlement from the university, including undergraduate tuition for DuBose's children, a formal apology, and an on-campus memorial. A decision about whether to pursue a retrial will be reached on November 28th.